Hey fans, so we're here today to check out the uh, GP20 uh, for Western Pacific um, on the Feather River Canyon route. I'm going to be going through the startup process and I'll be running through the first career scenario in this video. So uh, enjoy! So as some of you uh, might know, the GP20 uh, that was uh, released by Repo um, is an advanced locomotive. It's third party, so the developer was able to code in a lot of extra features that are not normally found on DTG uh, developed products. So this, this locomotive uh, features an advanced startup procedure, which I will be walking you through um, in addition to other intricacies. Uh, so if you do pick this DLC up, I, I do recommend that you take the time, find the DLC manual, and read through it. Actually read through it. Make sure you know where all the controls are. Make sure you know what the startup procedure is. Because it took me a few times to get it right. Um, yeah, so to save you the frustration, just make sure you actually go through it. All right. So here we are in the locomotive. Uh, let me put the F4 hood up. I'm going to release the train brakes and put my uh, put my locomotive brakes on. All right. So first things first, on the front control panel, we want to make sure the fuel pump switch is on. We want the gen field on. We want the engine run switch on. Uh, I like to turn on my instrument lights and stuff. Let's see anything else here we need to turn on? Nope. Um, I'll leave these off for now, I guess. Um, make sure there's nothing else here. Headlights are off off idle alright so the front uh, panel switches that are requisite are on um, so we're gonna switch over to the electrical locker unlock the uh, handle pull door open and here you got your light fuse, battery fuse, gen fuse you have your flashlight, can't use anything there. And here are your circuit breakers here. You need the control circuit, local circuit, and light breaker on. Mm. And you need, here you want the isolation switch in run. We are a single unit right now, so we'll leave that on. Uh, we want the fuel pump needs to be on. We want fan one and fan two on. Uh, we're in the desert, so I'm not going to turn on the heater or the engine heater. Uh, here we got fuel pressure, auxiliary generator voltage, and engine temperature uh, in Fahrenheit. So assuming I didn't forget anything, we should be good to crank. So to crank, find the engine start switch and hold it. And of course I missed something. Oh yeah, most important thing, battery knife switch. Make sure the main knife switch is is set on. Now everything's set, crank. Once the engine is started, move the isolation switch back to run so you can recharge the battery. Uh, we made sure the uh, fans were on. Um, this cabinet doesn't function. So everything here is set. So we can shut this cabinet, relock it. Okay, come on. There we go. And 
we can head back over to the control panel. Alright, so now that we're here, I'm going to turn the marker lights to white and headlights to front. That should set up our exterior here. Our reverser. Let's see. So we want our reverser forward. And we want our selector in one so we can go forward. Alright. So we're going to release independent brake. Alright, so I'm going to teach you here how to use the dynamic brake. Um, so as you noticed before, I did move this selector uh, without grabbing it. Uh, there's no keyboard instruction in the manual as far as I'm concerned. So in order to do this with the keyboard, I'm going to tell you how. Uh, you got to move this back to idle, and then I believe it's K. Yeah, it's K to move it back. Alright, so now we're in B, so I can push to uh, B1, dynamic rig 1. dynamic brake, use dynamic brake 2, bring to the train to a stop with the air brakes. So to move the selector lever back up, you hit the I key, so it's I for up, right? So you move it back to one, so you have a full... ...thing here. Uh, don't worry about the, the, the timeliness penalty thing. I already ran the scenario before, so I'm not really concerned about getting a good score here. Um, so we're given the road, uh, since I was so late, the, uh, the southbound service already passed, so my selector switch is back in the first, there are actually more, uh, positions, there's, I think there's four, this is, in real life this would be manual field shunting, so you would start out in, uh, field shunt one, and as train speed increased you would move up the selector switch. But uh, that's not coded in here, so we're going to ignore that. So I'm going to release the train brakes, and we're going to take power onto the main line. Whoa. 